Hey guys, I'm Lauren and today we're going to be moving and grooving together. So get out your mats, get your water bottle, a block, whatever you have today to practice with me. And we're going to meet standing for just a moment here. Today we're going to be talking about grounding and then we're going to express ourselves and we're going to come back down. So we're kind of going to go like a mountain. We're going to reach the peak. And then we're gonna come back down to grounding. So everyone take a seat on their mat. Maybe move around a little bit, get your bottom nice and flat. Bring your hands to your heart. And we're gonna start with some breathing. So loosen your jaw. Maybe shake it around a little bit. Loosen your lips. And this is how we're going to do it. So we're going to start with breathing through our nose. And then instead of breathing out through our nose, we're going to breathe out through our lips and we're going to flubber them all around. Are you ready? Let's try it together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Maybe you giggle a little bit. That's one of my favorite ways to breathe. Let's try it again together. Are you ready? Inhale. Exhale, blubber your lips out. We're gonna do it three more times, back to back to back. So I'm not even gonna cue it. We're just gonna do it together. So close your eyes, take your hands wherever you want. I have mine, palms facing down on my legs. Close my eyes, get settled in my space. And now let's start three blubber breaths together. Inhale. Inhale. Last one, breathe in and out. Nice. We're gonna move to our back today. And we're gonna do a lot with our hands and our feet because that's what's gonna touch the ground the most in yoga, probably in every single pose. Your hands or your feet will be touching the mat, unless you're just a magician or something. And we're gonna start with our feet together, wide apart. Take a moment here, bring a hand to your belly and a hand to your heart and feel your breaths go in, feel them go out. And maybe you even feel your heartbeat. If you can't feel your heartbeat, maybe you try moving your hand around till you can and feel how alive you are. Now pull your legs in, squeeze them tight. Give yourself a big bear hug and rock up and down. This feels really good on my low back. Where do you feel it? And we're gonna meet on all fours. And we're gonna do some cat cows together. I got my hands nice and wide, spreading my fingers as far as I can. And I'm gonna inhale, look up for cow. And I'm gonna press the ground away for cat. Three more times, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Two more, inhale. Exhale, last one, biggest one. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna move to puppy pose, stay on your knees and start walking your hands out until your head or your chest touches the mat. Maybe you wag your tail back and forth. Maybe you woof like a dog, be fun, be creative, move around. Your mat is a place to be silly. And then we're gonna work our way to downward facing dog. Move your feet around. Maybe you raise one leg, put it down. Maybe you raise the other. We're gonna practice what we call a sun salutation A. So this is something you might've never done before. So if you wanna watch me for the first one, you can. We're gonna step to the top of our mat. We're gonna lift up halfway. My hands are on my shins. And then we're gonna fold. 
and we're gonna come up big and express our big mountain. We're gonna stay here, maybe cactus your arms, maybe lean side to side. Ooh, this feels good. I'm gonna stay here and do this. Find what feels good in your body. And then we're gonna fold back over. We're gonna lift halfway. And now you have choices. You can flow through like I'm about to show you or just step back down the down dog. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna plant my hands, take a step back, do a push up and then upward facing dog. This one's one of my favorites. And then downward facing dog. Nice job guys. Now we're gonna try one all together. Are you ready? We're gonna meet in downward facing dog. Get your wiggles out. Maybe you shake your bottom. We're gonna step up to the top of our mat. Let your head hang heavy. Your bottom is to the ceiling. You're gonna lift up halfway and then you're gonna fold back down. If you know where we're headed, go there. Otherwise, look up at me for extended mountain. Get big. Maybe you shake around. Maybe you stretch it out. Maybe you show your big muscles. And then when you're ready, come back down. We're gonna lift up halfway. Now remember your options. You can push it up with me or you can just step back down to down dog. Ready? We're gonna push up to upward facing and then back down to downward facing dog. Nice job, guys. Are you ready for the next part? We're gonna be warriors. Show me your best warrior face. Nice. Now get your warrior minds ready. Perfect. Let's be some strong warriors together. My hands are down, downward facing dog. I'm gonna take my right leg, but you can do whatever leg you want. And I'm gonna step through for warrior one. So notice how my feet are spread apart. I'm bending in my top knee and my hands go to the sky. Maybe you wiggle them. I was like wiggling my fingers. This is warrior one. Show me your warrior one. Now we're gonna do warrior two. Put up two fingers for warrior two. Nice, so we're gonna take our arms. We're gonna sweep them open and move our foot. Now we got warrior two. Y'all are so strong. Let's try it on the other side. So now we're gonna shake it out, shake it out. And we're gonna switch it up. So now we're gonna do warrior one on the opposite side. Ooh, reach tall, you are strong. Light up your fingertips. Now open up warrior two, you're still so strong. Now we're gonna take it even a step further. Are you ready? Turn your thinking cap on. We're gonna come back to warrior one. We're gonna take our hands behind our back, stretch our chest to the sky, and we're gonna lean forward and humble our warrior. When you're all done, come back up and we'll try it on the other side. So come back to your warrior one. Reach up, draw your hands back, stretch your chest up, and humble your warrior. Super strong legs to keep you standing up. Come back together, stand at the top of your mat, shake it out. Now we're gonna do some standing poses, but before we do that, we have to build from the ground up so we're super, super strong. So everyone take a look at their feet. Here are my feet. 
Make sure they're facing straight out in front of you. Your toes, your big toes should be right in front of you. Lift your 10 toes. Spread them as far as you can. Send them back down. Now I want you to push down through your foot. So I want you to push down through your heel and through all the knuckles of your feet, kind of like you're suction cupping your feet to the mat. So this is what we like to call our true north or our grounding. So from our feet, we work up our legs, zipping everything together. Hug your muscles in. Now your belly, squeeze your belly. This is all our core and our abdominal muscles. You touch your abs, I'll touch mine. Squeeze them together. And now hands face me and you're ready to balance. Now I'm gonna give you guys a tip. I don't know if you know this, but your eyes, I want you to focus on one spot in front of you to help you balance, just one. So we're gonna start with a standing leg raise. So you're gonna stand one foot, suction cupping my foot to the floor. I'm gonna use my eyes and find something in front of me and I'm gonna open up. Now you have choices. You can grab your knee or you can take your big foot and you can open it up. Do whatever you would like. And we're gonna stay for five, four, three, two, one, nice job, switch it out. Grounding my foot down, suctioning it up. And now I'm gonna take my knee and I'm gonna open up. And if you fall, it's totally okay. And we're gonna stay for five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, shake it out. Now dancer, are any of y'all dancers? This is your chance to show me. I wanna see some strong dancers. Hand comes up, I'm gonna grab my foot and I'm gonna reach, ooh, I'm wobbly. Reach forward for my dancer. Ready? We'll stay for five, four, three, two, one. Switch it out. We'll take it forward for five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Now my very favorite pose. And we're gonna have so much time to play around with this one is tree. So I'm gonna suction my foot down and I'm gonna bring my foot to the inside of my leg. My hands are pressing into my heart and you can stay here or maybe you grow your tree. Maybe your tree moves in the wind. Maybe it comes behind your back. Anywhere you wanna go, we're gonna stay for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, other side. Ground down your foot. Maybe you're starting to notice that your two sides are different. Sometimes I have one side that is stronger than the other. Like this is my, my hard side right here. And we're gonna stay, count with me, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, nice job, shake it out. We're gonna meet on the floor and we're gonna keep working with our feet. So we're gonna do two exercises on the floor before we start coming down the hill. So remember our hill from the beginning of class? Show me your hill with your hands. We're about to reach the tippy top, shake your fingertips. We're about to be right here and then we'll come back down. So we're gonna lay on our backs and we're gonna go to what we call bridge. So my two feet are pointing right in front of me. Here, I'll face, face the side. And I'm gonna press my feet down into the ground and lift my hips up. And this is bridge. And our face goes straight to the sky. And you keep squeezing your bottom together. Now ready, press your hips even higher. 
Maybe your hips are reaching towards the ceiling. Woo, nice job, come down. Now, the very, very peak of our hill, we're gonna go to wheel. So if you know how to do wheel, go ahead and go right there. If not, we're gonna do it together. And if you don't get it, you can always go to bridge. Bridge is the prep for wheel. So bridge, wheel, wherever you wanna go, find the peak of your class today. So we're gonna lay back down. I'll face this way this time. Just like our feet were for bridge, we ground our feet, not section cupping them up. Our hands come back by our head and we're gonna press up. Are you ready? Set, go for five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, guys. That is hard stuff. Before we start winding it down, I wanna give you guys a minute to think about your favorite pose you did today. Think hard and I'm gonna to count to five. And when I reach five, I want you to show everyone your favorite pose you did today. Are you ready? I'll do mine too. One, two, three, four, five favorite pose Woohoo! nice job guys my favorite pose was tree so that's why i did tree everyone meet back on their bottoms we're going to start slowing down our heart slowing down our breathing lay flat on your back and butterfly your legs out just like we did at the beginning let's bring a hand to your belly a hand to your heart and let's take some deep breaths together. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe in, filling up your chest, filling up your belly, and breathe out. Two more times, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Last time, and this time I really want you to feel your belly, so take both hands, and put them flat on your belly so you can feel it. Ready? Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now take one leg straight, bring one leg to your chest, squeeze it in, give it a hug. It was so strong for you and all those warriors and your tree pose and your wheel, give it a good hug. And you're gonna twist it over your body. We call this supine twist. Can you say supine twist? I know it can be a little wordy. Switch sides. Grab both knees in. Last chance to hug yourself tight. Rock and roll right up to a seat. And before we end class officially, we're gonna finish the same way we started. So with our breathing. So remember that flubber, blubber, lip breathing we did? We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it three times. Inhale. Exhale. Take a breath in and out. One last time together. Inhale, exhale. Take whatever final movement you need to get all the wigglies out before we lay down just for a second to soak in all our hard work. Lay flat on your back palms facing up. And as we lay here, I want you to think about what your favorite thing we did was. I want you to think about what a strong warrior you had. And I want you to think about something you're really, really good at. When you've thought everything up and your body's nice and calm 
and you're ready to get off your mat and start your day, we're gonna meet in crisscross applesauce at the top of our seat. Close your eyes. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let it go. And together, we're going to bow and say, Namaste. Namaste, everyone. That's how we end our practice. Thank you for moving and grooving with me today. And I hope you guys have an awesome week. And I look forward to Zoom flowing with y'all again. I'm Lauren. Have a good week. Bye, guys.